If you are a follower of this channel, you know that I typically film in HLG3 with this studio setup, but I recently ran a test and filmed a bunch of footage in the S-Log2 picture profile. And with this video, I kind of want to figure out if I want to switch to S-Log2 for my future videos. So let me give you a tour of the studio setup real quick. So this is pretty much how things look like behind the camera. There's the Amaran 100D with the Aperture Light Dome SE on the right. That is my key light. Right there on the left, we have the rim light. That is the Roleno. I actually can't remember the exact name, but I will have it here for you on the screen. Also, of course, links to all the gear will be down in the video description. And then right here in the background, we have a little bit of ambient lights. There are two of the Olanzi VL49 RGB lights there on the shelf as well as another Roleno light to kind of make the scene a little more interesting. Right here we have my hair light. This is one of the smart lights so I can adjust the temperature, color and intensity of the light. And just as with the rim light I've put a custom diffusion softbox thing around it so that it doesn't spill in the entire room. All right, and that was a quick tour of the setup. Now let's have a look at the settings in the CVE-10. As I said, I'm currently shooting in the AGLG picture profile and the color mode is set to BT2020. Other than that, I haven't changed anything here except for the details. I've set them to minus seven because I don't want to have any of the sharpening applied by the camera. I can always adjust that and do that in post if I want to. And this is what the footage looks like. Okay, the CVE-10 is currently recording in 4K and I've set the shutter speed to 1 50th of a second, which is double the frame rate. The lens that I use with the CVE-10 in this setup is the Sigma 30mm f1.4 and we are currently filming at f2 with the ISO set to 250. I typically overexpose by 0.3 to 0.7 stops but since I'm wearing all black today the exposure compensation shows zero so everything should be evenly exposed. Generally speaking, in an indoor studio setup like this, you want to overexpose by just a little bit. That just gives you a little bit more freedom and it is always better to turn things down compared to uh, boosting them up. All right, so and that is what the AGLG picture profile looks like. I've converted it in DaVinci Resolve 18 and applied a little bit of an added, but that is basically it. Now let's have a look at the S-Log2 profile. All right, and this is how the video looks like in S-Log2. The color mode is set to S Gamma 3 Cine, I think it is called. So I will show you both videos side by side so you can get an idea of how it compares to the AGLG picture profile. The minimum ISO of S-Log2 is actually ISO 500, so we had to boost the ISO from 250 to 500. So what do you think? This is actually a great time to smash that like button and share your thoughts on these picture profiles with me down in the comments below. There's actually one more thing that I would like to try and that is change the color mode from S Gamma 3 Cine to the Matrix color mode. So let's have a look if that makes any difference. All right, then this is what the image looks like with the color mode set to ITU709 Matrix. What do we think of that? Again, I would love to hear your thoughts on this color mode in the comments down below. Do you like that better compared to the Gamut 3 Cine? Of course, I will show you another comparison here between the two on the screen. And we're now back at HLG3. Again, I just wanted to share this experiment with all of you guys because I'm sure some of you will find this useful. Well, and that is pretty much it for today's video. I'm actually currently working on a video on how to light a studio setup like this. Also, the kind folks over at Pixel have sent over the P80 RGB light and we will have a look how that compares to the softbox that I showed you earlier. So again, if you want to see that and if you're interested on how to light a studio setup like this, make sure to subscribe. Well, and that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.